Hello. Today is our second class. So today we learn about vocabularies, dialogues, and a grammar. Also, we will learn about Korean alphabet, especially a series of consonants. We will learn about wool at next class. So, I will change my screen to my iPad. Wait a minute. I need to operate my Microsoft Teams to do to share my iPad screen at device without audio. Just connect this meeting. So share my screen in iPad. Broadcast start. Yes. Yeah. You can see my iPad now. So today, let's start. First, we will learn about vocabulary. So today, I want to teach you some words about K-pop. Yeah, first, kasu. It's a noun. And it is a singer. Kasu is a singer. So today we will learn about some words. Words related to music. So first, Kasu is a singer. Second, Nore. Nore is noun. It means a song. And Nore Buruda is a verb. So sing. So you can make one sentence using these three words. So I will make one sentence using these three words. Kasuga Nureder Puruda. But I think you may have one question. Oh, you wrote like this, but why don't you write like this? Kasuga Nureder. But it is, you can use this sentence, but it is not common usage. Not common. Because I think it is similar with English. Noreru Puruda. This phrase usually mean sing a song. If you use puruda with no letter, you please remember this phrase. But for example, I will give you some other example. 친구를 부르다 
this Buddha, this Buddha, same, same. But this means sing. But this means call. So it is important in Korean about this object. The object can change the meaning of verb. Okay, it's important. I think it is similar with English. Yes, and yeah, today we learned about this three words about singing song. Yeah, so in English, it seems similar, but Korean is a little different. So, finished. And second, we will learn about a dialogue when we have to apolog apologize something to someone. So, Red is not proper, so I think green is proper. Question, uh, no, no, not question. Miane is, I am sorry. But you can put some reason in there. For example, 늦어서 미안해. This means sorry too late. Or I think sorry for rate sorry for waiting. Uh, I think it is this is proper. Sorry for making you wait. So you can find some difference between Korean and English. In Korean, 늦어서 means this too late or for making you wait. But in Korean, you put this phrase in front of tambiane. But in English, you put the reason behind the story. This and this, this have similar meaning, but in Korean, you put this in front of the story. But in English, you put this behind the story. That's the big deal between Korean and English. Yeah, so today we learned about vocabularies, about sing. We learned about dialogues when we have to apologize something to someone. And finally, let's learn about Korean alphabet, consonant. Let's learn about consonant, but iPad don't, iPad does not act. Please, iPad. Mm, yes, so let's pronounce together. Ka, 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 na, ta. Da, ma, pa, sa. Yeah, this is a little hard to understand, but I will talk about it later. Ka, na, da, la, ma, pa, sa, cha, cha, ka, ta, pa, ha. 
So please remember it. Yeah, so I will talk about this sound. Ah. Wait, this A sound we can find in everywhere. 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 So it means this A sound make we pronounce consonant. This sound makes us available to speak consonant. Could you understand it? Yes. So, please remember it. It's Korean alphabet of consonant. Ga, na, da, ra, ma, ba, sa, ja, cha, ka, ta, pa, ha. Okay. And let's make one thing. Mm. Let's make one thing. It's mm. Chingu. Let's learn about Chingu. Chingu. We can divide this word like this. Chin plus gu. But we can also divide it like this. Chin. This is. The tiny type of this world. Chiu this, 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 this. And let's divide this school. This, 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 this. So, this is consonant, this is consonant, this is consonant. But, this is fall, this is fall. So, Please remember it. We need one consonant and one vowel to make one sound. But it's it can be change it two consonant one vowel is available two consonant two vowel is available but it is impossible zero consonant one bulb impossible or two consonant zero volt it's impossible you need less one consonant and one bulb less no zero zero okay so today we learn many things. So I hope it could make you, I think, I hope it could help you to study Korean. Thank you very much.